Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where once again it's been a freaking long time since I've played this game. <laughs> uh, but I think we should... Well, Felix might be good. He's got a grenade launcher. That's <coughs> pretty good. And... And a male Malay stick. I don't think I have a better grenade launcher than what he's got. And his melee stick is pretty good. It's a pretty good stick. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. All right. Oh, that seems good. I forgot I brought him out with me, and that I had him. We just survived that terrible encounter with that monster. Oh, but uh, I'm never gonna get that right. Um. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, let's see. He's got. Let's see. Increases maximum hell. Uh, sure. Apply. Cool beans. <laughs> and. I need to look at my journal. I was trying to figure out, honestly, I can't remember what the stuff at the bottom left is. That's why I have this codex entry on because I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but right now, I am this one. Captain is like, well, Scylla, go find him and make sure he's okay. I really doubt it. Um, but I... Yeah, I haven't botched any yet, which is nice. I'm sure that's gonna ha that's gonna like it's gonna like like a later thing, you know? We're like later on down the line, it's gonna be like, oh hey, by the way, this quest, you actually botched it and you didn't know it. I'm like, no. Uh but yeah, these these bottom left things, I don't actually know what they do. I actually poked them to see what they do, and I uh oh jeez. Oh, that's disgusting. There's an outlaw though, I guess. I guess this place is supposed to be full of outlaws. I was like, is this a bug? But it's not. It is, it is, in fact, just fallen metal. It's fine. Can I... Can I... How do I crouch? There we go. Nope. Staying out of sight. Listen, if you talk every time I do that, I'm gonna have a panic attack. I don't know if we can get... Maybe get in through the top? There's probably nothing. There's probably nothing. There is probably nothing in there. I feel like I slur my words a lot, and I need to not do that. Need to enunciate. Anyway, we're looking for the guy, and there. But there's something. There's something going on with that. I remember <laughs> vaguely. Like if you if we mess it up, it'll be really bad. <laughs> hey, outlaw. You know, you didn't have to shoot me down if you wanted an autograph. Shut up now, and you might get out of this alive. Can we hurry this up? I want that ship gutted before the primals find us. What ship? Hello, hello. Can I? Can we? Can we? What was that? Hi. Oh, we can't talk our way out of this. Oh, my batteries are low. Oh shoot! How do I? Oops, that's all I meant to do. Oh, oopsie daisy. I actually can't rem remember how. To switch. Uh, I don't know. Nope, I have no idea. Oh, is, it, is this their special? Their specials? I have no idea. This is fine. I'll just die. I'm gonna get shot down in a second. Okay, um. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't die. I just can't. I cannot remember. Yeah, that weapon is not very effective at long range. Uh, I can't remember how to switch weapons. Why does this always happen to me? I never remember how to do anything. Uh, is it this one? No. Uh. Nope. How do you switch weapons? 
I have no, I have no idea what those do either. <laughs> this is how uh, this always happens to me. I can't ever remember. Uh, basics. Uh, leap dodge. Oh, that's right. Double click. That's what I did. I did that. I did that earlier. I like did like a quick little. Uh, also, I just realized that like the the, the damage numbers. If they float down, that means your extra weapon's actually ineffective against them. And I, and I read that in here, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, armor management, nope. Oh, if only, oh, if only. Basic combat, critical hits, graze. Yeah, that's the grazes thing. I was like, oh, okay. Melee time dilation location needs. Oh, I do have that now. Weapon switching. Try it is triangle. Oh, I got. I gotta hold it. What's the one that you just like cycle through them? Although if this pauses the game, that's pretty dope. Oh, he's got the medical droids out. Yep, that's me. No big deal. Just shrugging off my injuries as I stroll away from another flaming impact. Oh god, this guy's also gonna be a nightmare. Constipation. Reduced fertility <laughs> into tight trousers. <laughs> Recommend stimulant injection. Hair loss. You take that back. <laughs> oh jeez, give me this. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, talk to you in a second. I know putting- I remember putting my weapon away. Hello? Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. He's got the kind Symptoms of face- detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. <laughs> Subject appears to be terrified. <laughs> I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. He's got the kind of face I want to punch when I see it. Uh, Captain Erian, I take it? The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? Yes, she did, actually. Certainly she did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these automechs are coming. And sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain uh, peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Why do I have his gun? Uh, you ought to be thanking me. You're lucky to be alive. That's not going to help. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. How about I just take take these? I came all the way here for this. Did I come all the way here for this? Why do I have his gun? Uh, oh, and I should, I should maybe use the freaking, uh-oh. Sorry about that, there was some glitching going on there. Uh, unfortunately, if I change the resolution on this game uh, to 720, it looks really terrible. Unlike Final Fantasy XII, which is my fixer Final Fantasy XII screen tearing that happens sometimes, is that I've just lowered it. I've just lowered the quality to 720 in that game in particular. But I can't do that in this one, because then it just looks really bad. Anyway, uh, what else is there to do here? I flew all the way here just for this? Man, I... Is there nothing else to do? Here? I mean, there's not not a whole lot to be doing around. I don't know. I thought this was gonna like this was gonna involve that big thing right there that I think is keeping the the atmosphere in place. I'm not 100 percent sure. There's a lot of I don't know. Are these like crashed machines or are they those th those machines and they've just uh, been fallen over and been replaced? Oh my gosh, I don't want to fight those things again. I 
guess this is it. I mean, maybe I'll come back at some point. It doesn't seem that hard to fly around places, but still. I don't know. Just feel like there should be more to do here. Are you friendly? Or no friendly? No, nope, not friendly. Um, what's my hand? Okay. With the best. What? <laughs> Don't mess with the best. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, that's my my lovely ship. I think. Maybe I can look in here. Is this an inn? Circus time freighter. This is a freighter. That's up. Like that little elevator. There's enemies up there. Mm, dead, dead end? No, not dead end? Dead end. Well, excuse me. Maybe I can't go in, but I can go around. Uh, I don't know about that either, actually. Oh, dang it. You gotta go the proper way. Follow the protocols. Well, I guess I can try to see if I can get up from... from like the ship, uh, the landing pad, I guess. Let me in. Oh, yep. Yeah. And a part of me freaking has no idea if I'm just missing things or not. Like maybe there was, maybe I could have pulled that, that, the elevator down. And I just didn't notice. Can I get across <laughs> this way? I don't think, which seems like a big oak. I don't know. Look at that. Ow, that was a little painful. Ha ha. See, you have to get so close to have things light up, though, which is a little weird. Like for me, personally. It's okay, you guys teleport, so it's convenient. Outlaws, huh? Oop. Let's go say hello. Why did that? What did I do? Why is it we find fights every place we go? How do I reload? Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Holy Jesus! Yeah. Sorry. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's what that is. Uh, dope. Want some of this? <laughs> 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 oh, I think I, I think I killed you, dude. So I apologize. Okay, don't walk in front of him. Not, I can't like flip the side that I'm looking at. I have to. Hmm. Wake up, Felix. I know there's still an outlaw over there, but I'm just gonna loot as I go. Let's see. <laughs> what was that? What kind of what kind of death was that? That was weird. Sublight thug. Oh, dang. Why are you called a sublight thug? 
What did you do to deserve that? I mean, I know what sub what sublights that business, um, but that, that them people are always dying when they work for sublight, but pay up sure, I don't know. I don't I haven't been eating things or anything like that, so Oh, I'm just trying to put my weapon away. Which Yeah, okay. Are there more enemies? This was just this was place was just taken over by Oops. <laughs> um I didn't know. I didn't know that that was also the melee button. We don't actually gotta be quiet, I'm just looking. No. Here they come! Where are you? Rabid Sprat. Oh jeez. Don't don't get bit by it! Don't get bit by it! Oh jeez. Oh my goodness. Oh, we could have come up the back way. Of course there's a back way. There's always at least, apparently at least three ways, because I keep thinking that everything's limited to two ways, but apparently there was more than two ways to solve the situation on the first planet we were on. And I just noobed my way through it, thinking it was like Bioware with only two choices. Like a moron. What's in here? What's in here? Nothing? Here? Nope. I mean, it's just a scrapper thing, but why would you live here? Like, what's the point? I guess there's, I don't know, you don't really need a point to have a scrap operation somewhere, but... Look at all this high ground I could have taken. Oh, well, I don't think, can I? Nope. I can take that though. I certainly hope ammo doesn't go towards my weight, but it probably does. A tactical shotgun. I don't think I need that. But thanks. I'll know where there's another. Th I'll. I will know that there is a tactical shotgun here if I need it. Well, I guess uh, that's all this planet's for. Here we go. Off we go. Time to leave. You can get some XP for killing people, and you can uh, you find the guy. Oh, hello. Do you? Nope. You don't have anything. Um. How did I get up here? Can I break this railing? Why can't I jump over the railing? Oh my gosh, does it want me to go down the actual stairs? Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh my gosh, just let me in. Let me, let me go. It's freaking, oh, there we go, okay. Down we go. I can't believe it won't let me jump over railings. Let me eat myself over a railing if I want to. Also, let me do this. Oh, almost. I almost made it. Hang on. We'll do it again. There we go. All right. <laughs> Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Where's the front of my ship? I was like, I better be able to crawl under my ship. I guess back we go. And maybe, maybe with that, though, we'll get enough cred with the doc to be able to figure out what's going on. Oh, also, someone told me in the comments that you can talk to people through glass, which is, like, huge. I just, I don't know, I always think of it as, like, this, like, impenetrable barrier in games that, like, the NPCs are like, it's a wall, you know? <laughs> like, I don't really see it as, like, glass. They just see it as a wall, but apparently not. Apparently you can, at least in this game you can look through and talk to somebody, which is nice. 
because then you don't have to like get in trouble necessarily by going into places that you're not allowed Welcome to be back. in. Do wipe the blood and. Ooh, I'm trying to put my weapon away. Place dust from your feet in the entry bay. Thank you. I think reload's just pressing square. Does anybody have anything they want to say to me? Are we? Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? Uh, what do you think of the ship? That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA-120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space, but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Uh, uh. Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board-certified mechanic. Ha! Huh. Uh, apparently Ada's the one who actually flies the ship. Fly-by-wire's pretty normal. Or at least ways that's what I read in the trades. I've never been on a real ship before. Hello! I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? <laughs> Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. <laughs> You're not simulating it. You're doing it. I asked a question and you answered it. <gasps> I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. <laughs> uh... Ada Parvati will be fixing you from now on. I expect your full cooperation. I am at your disposal, Ms. Parvati. You will find the technical schematics in the engineer's locker. Though I'm afraid Captain Hawthorne has lost the owner's manual. Of course. I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. Wow. <laughs> Uh, did you learn your trade from your father? It sounded like it when you talked to Reed. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Uh, I don't... I don't see the humor. He meant funny as in odd. Yeah, but I... It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. Oh! That decides your schooling and your career. I was like, when I tested out for maintenance, everyone figured it was on account of my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Wait, what? What? Why is it a big deal? Like, you know, like, have something, I don't know. Like, why wouldn't she follow in her dad's footsteps? Like, it seems like a family thing, like, that you kind of, like, you do whatever your family does. That's the impression I got before. Um, I guess maybe it's just mostly you stay in, like, your working class, you know, and you don't rise above that, I guess, and... And then there's like, there's like the sciences and stuff. Uh, why would people be unhappy? Yeah, I don't get that. Why would they be unhappy about you getting a maintenance job? Well, because they were hoping their own kid would get the job and get sent back to Edgewater. When folk go away for schooling, they don't get back to where they begun. Not usually. You go straight to your first job, wherever the company's got an opening. Oh my gosh, they separate families? That's unbelievably cruel. Well, it ain't exactly cruel to have a promise of a paying job. And that's all it is. You go where the company needs you. Where your skills do the most good. But you're actually good at this and you enjoy it. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I guess I could see, I don't know. People would want their own kids to, like, come back, maybe. But, like, I don't know. Why would they? I don't know. It just seems so odd. It just seems so odd. Like, why wouldn't you do the things that your family has done? And, like, she lived with her dad. Why wouldn't she pick up some things? But you're actually good at this and you enjoy it. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. There's times I'm working deep in the guts of a loader, getting it all running perfect. Then I look up to see it's tomorrow, and I've blown another deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. Oh! Okay, I thought maybe she just picked it up from her dad and didn't go to the school. Uh, that school... You, uh, wait, you didn't like your classes? Oh, there were a whole lot of reading. Not nearly enough doing. Like, before they'd issue you a wrench, they wanted an essay on the design of different wrenches. Then there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. Oh, jeez. 
after school, you moved straight back to Edgewater? Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower and stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. Uh, did you get much time with him after you got back from school? About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pains. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. How he'd stay up late to help with my projects. Or I'm gonna cry. Listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ears so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. Okay. Well, well that's, I, that's one of those things. I don't know. It's a very dad, like, daddy-daughter story, you know? Or, like, the dad may not, like, you know, be, like, super, like, oh, my gosh, I love you, like, all the time, you know? But it's the, you know, the, the fact that he'll listen or help you. Like, he shows it in his actions. Remember, items in the hold may shift during takeoffs and landings. Like, it's more of a show-don't-tell kind of a thing. And that just always makes my heart hurt. I guess let's head back. Well, have I talked to Fritz yet? I don't know. I don't think I've talked. Have I talked to him yet? Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's so hard to keep track of relationships. So I think I have. I think I've, I've seen him settle into his room. He's like across from the vicar, right? Maybe? Oh, hey. Good to see you, boss. How are you settling in? Never mind. <laughs> I wonder, I would love to be able to upgrade my shape. Felix, I know you can hear me, so listen up. For the last time, you break it, you buy a replacement for me to install. What's he doing? Break any, like, just things in general? Or is he, like, breaking something right now? Oh, This is, it's Petunia the Plant, but it's not a Petunia. But that's the name she gave it, because she names everything. Oh, wow. First run she dad ever gave me. She's been a friend ever since. That's what I figured. Uh, full of modified tools with unique mechanical usages. Digging around in here would be easy way to lose a finger to a sawtooth blade. A book. Oh, the modern steel wrench in you. The book is heavily dog-eared and doodles in the margin. I know she's. There's been a couple of things that she says that she likes for sure. Oops, I didn't mean to take that. Actually, I was just trying to look at it. Pick up spade. I, I don't want to pick up. Pet pills. I don't want to. Light ammo. Aww. A stern older man with warm eyes. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Daddy daughter stories are the surest way to get me. Surest way. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm choking on my feelings. Let's go back. Where do I gotta go back? The groundbreaker. Could I just? I could just go to Phineas's lab. But that's just weird to me, cause he seems like he's been so out of, like you know. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. Contact. I can't see anything. I don't know how I feel about first person. I'm not gonna lie. I think I. I think I prefer third person. Uh. Well, you two. No, get off. You two have. stuff going on in this place oh crap parvati is gonna like go to the bar and drink herself silly i think oh no that's right i just gotta drop off the news about the medical droids i didn't even get why didn't i just take it from the guy i actually meant to stay and watch him see if he flew away because he was walking away from us i meant to see if he if i could watch him fly away but i got distracted antibiotics haha <laughs> that's funny Purifies poisons, toxins, venoms, blah, blah, blah. Fight with nature and flicks. Mm -hmm. Against specific damage type, it gives skill bonuses. I should do that. I really should. I should. Freaking. You see, we had a conveyor pull in? I should actually try more with the like modifications and the food and all that. 
Cause those give you bonuses. Oh come on! I just like <laughs> I just like did a big jump and cracked my ankle, and everyone's like, "Oh jeez, are you okay?" I'm like, "Fine." Yo. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible oh, he's for a mechanical safe return. You're a good gambler. I can't thank you enough. Oh, there it is. If I had been paying attention, and my eyes were slightly more open than they are. Hello? Keep hanging around, and I'll begin to think you're here for me. Girl, I'll, I'll date you. What can a, I do for I'd you? I'll date you in a heartbeat. Any chance you could let me in the back rooms? Not sure why you'd want to, given the biohazard signs. Luckily, we don't actually have any chemical agents or play going on in there. Not right now, at least. Well, you did help me out. Uh. Sure, go ahead. Just don't do anything unsafe. I never would. Never. Yeah, I would never hurt, break your trust. All right. Well, I'm going to call this episode here, but wow, that was uh that was well worth it to get access to this back area and and into what I think is potentially another companion somewhere on the line. I don't know who, but somebody in there, but I could be making that up. Anyway, Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.